Uh, thanks, Rand. Thank you. Yes, my name is Mark. Uh, I'm a white guy from the California suburbs. Uh, but I was born in the Midwest and I started life as a conservative Christian. In fact, I was a Lutheran. Uh, if you don't know what a Lutheran is, it's like a Catholic, but without all the rapiness. <laughs> um, no, now I am a proud sort of atheist lefty. And, um, you know, I'm sorry, folks, I, I, I have to pause right here. I had, I, had, um, I had something happen today and while it was just very upsetting and um, I think I can't go on until I, you know, maybe talk about it or get it off my chest. Um, I found out today that my dog um, is a Trump supporter. Uh, <laughs> right? I caught him looking at a website for uh, Chewanon. <laughs> and at the dog park today, he was approached by a Labradoodle. And I don't know if you know what a Labradoodle is, but it's half lab and half uh, doodle. And <laughs> he comes up to us and he says, look, we have to keep the Chihuahuas out of our neighborhood, okay? They eat our kibble, they bring rabies. I mean, some of them might be good dogs, I assume. But we need to build a fence, a big, beautiful fence to keep the Chihuahuas out. Uh, and we make the Chihuahuas pay for it, okay? Also, uh, they're sending a huge pack our way, and I have the Border Collies working on that. You know, I was really disturbed. First of all, because I could understand dogs talking and I wasn't high. Um, and secondly, this dog was then talking about rounding up all the cats in the neighborhood, right? He was like, we're going to go around the streets and we're going to grab all the pussies, right? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, it's just part of what a, you know, shit sandwich 2020 is, right? I mean, it's it's like a shit sandwich with cheese, right? Or as the French would say, a shit sandwich royale. I, I think that's a translation. Uh, I don't know because I only speak un poquito French, you know? Um, I've had like my liberal friends in the last few months ask me if they can borrow ammunition. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm a crazy white guy in the suburbs. I got 12,000 rounds and nine mil in the bunker under my house, but you know, they want to borrow ammunition. Look, I'll give them the ammunition if they shoot certain people. Okay? <laughs> I, I say that because I'm hoping there's secretly a QAnon person watching this because I want to be a part of that, right? I heard some commie median talk about giving bullets to Antifa to shoot Trump supporters. Now, let's be fair. That is not what I said, okay? It's sort of what I meant, but I didn't say it, okay? <laughs> I know how legalities work. You know, to, to get through this year, I have been binge watching survival shows, okay? And first of all, I have some spoilers and tips for that. You know, that show Bear Grills, he never actually grills a bear, okay? <laughs> uh, deadliest Catch, they all end up with crabs, okay? And <laughs> make you afraid. Uh, they, they actually pixelate out all the nudity. And so I, I watched that show and I'm like, <laughs> is that guy really that big or is it just because he's standing next to an elephant? You know, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you know, the show I've been watching is something called Dual Survival and it stars these two crazy white survivalists and every show starts like this. We've paired Joe Green Beret, who's good at blowing things up and killing people, with Sam Filthy Hippie, who lives in a yurt and hates shoes. We're going to drop them on a tropical island off New Guinea with nothing. Can they survive for a week and not die? Well, first of all, it's a lie. They don't have nothing. They have giant knives, okay? The first thing the Green Beret does is make a spear. And the first thing that the filthy hippie does is carve a pipe so he can smoke out with Mother Gaia, you know? And then the Green Beret will turn to camera and he'll say, we have to prioritize our survival needs in this situation, okay? We have to get fire and shelter and food. I'm like, food? You need food? Why don't you ask the cameraman to use his radio to, you know, grub hub up a burger, you know? No. <laughs> no. Instead, the Green Beret ends up eating the hippie. And then says something like, you know, in a survival situation, sometimes you have to become a cannibal. <laughs> and I'm starting to understand that in this year, you know, because hey, it's been tough on everybody. It's been tough on comedians. OK, I you know, we've had pandemics in the past in human history. And I've wondered, how did comedians get through those? You know, like, how did comedians do in the plague in London in 1665? I, I think comedians would have been something like this. OK. <clears throat> 
Hello, hello. Welcome to the cadaver collection cart for some socially distanced gesturing, eh? Yeah. What's <laughs> the job at the palace gesturing, you know? The king left for his country estate to leave all us serfs here to die of the Black Death, right? You know, hey, first of all, I want to say Black Death, racist, right? I mean, we're all pasty and white, right? So, you know, <laughs> Hey, raise your hand in the crowd. Who's got cankerous pustules, right? I know. <laughs> Can't take my shirt off. I'll scare the kids, right? You know, hey, uh, this pandemic's been hard on the kids too, right? You know, <laughs> uh, you know, I had 12 kids when this started. I'm down to six, right? I, I, I lost the girls. That's okay. I need the boys to work in the mines and dig through the bodies for valuables, okay? You know, <laughs> my youngest came up to me the other day. He says, Dad! You never give us anything. I'm like, I gave you cankerous pustules. What do you want? <laughs> we don't have enough to eat. I'm like, why don't you just chew on your cankerous pustules? I, you know, I, I'm really killing tonight. Eh? I've already seen five people drop dead. Oh, there's the lantern. That's my time, right? I hope to see you all here next week, but I know you'll probably have you be dead. Thank you, God bless you. <laughs> uh, and, and speaking of white death, uh, Donald Trump, um, <laughs> he got the COVID, right? And who saw that coming, right? I said to a buddy of mine, I said, uh, you know, do you think Trump really has the COVID? And he was like, you know, you, you can't question that, or that's creating a liberal version of QAnon. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not near crazy enough to be a liberal version of QAnon. Look, I'll give you a liberal version of QAnon, okay? <laughs> I don't think Trump went to the hospital. It was a body double. The real Trump went to Area 51, where alien scientists from Grasbot 51 put him in his android body, and he became a Trump former. <laughs> no Trump former, more than meets the lie. You know, the problem is he can only Trump form into a golf cart. <laughs> 18 holes. I will cut sleepy Joe Biden in half with my laser eyes. Oh, the alien scientist doubled the size of my penis to three inches. You know, at, at least I'm glad that all this electile dysfunction is over, you know? Because I mean, if your election lasts longer than four months, please consult your nearest constitutional scholar. I mean, <laughs> It's going to take some getting used to, though, to, to wake up and, and see that there's no crazy going on, to go through my news feeds every day and go like, what is Trump doing today? Is, is he making it legal for a father to marry his daughter? It, it, is William Shatner the new head of Space Force? Hey, oh, look, the My Pillow guy is the new Secretary of Defense, you know? Um, <laughs> and right now, what is Trump doing? I bet Trump is just sort of jerking off all over the White House like a chimp on Adderall, OK? You know, I mean, look. It's not the first time a president probably did that, right? I mean, Bill, Bill Clinton was president, okay? So can you imagine what, what is it like for poor Hillary being locked down with Bill Clinton? You know, I mean, it's probably something like this, you know, hi, hi Hill, honey, how about, I, how about I slip off my sweatpants and you can play with my little William the Conqueror? <laughs> for the 14th time today, Bill, no. But you know, you turn me on on that pantsuit, honey. Pantsuit, wetsuit, Santa suit, it's all the same. Like, Chelsea's not in the house anymore. Why do I have to wear pants? The Secret Service is still here, Bill. Hey, honey, nothing they haven't seen before. I'm just saying, okay? Uh, <laughs> no, hey, it's been a tough year. And even though it's been a huge turd party, I've learned so much, okay? Like, I've had to learn to cut my own hair with dull craft scissors, okay? I had to learn how easy it is to go through a tall bottle of vodka in a single day. OK, I, I ran out of toilet paper and I grabbed a random book off the shelf to use instead. And of course, it was the art of the deal. So it tried to charge me twelve dollars every time I wiped my ass. Uh, <laughs> I had to learn to be a farmer. Right. I, I grew like crops in my backyard and I even went full of the Martian. OK, and fertilize my potatoes with my own poop. OK, my own poop. Right? I was shitting in a planter out on the patio for for like six weeks. <laughs> okay, and you know, I'll leave you with this, right? I'm I'm taking orders for eight pound bags of potatoes. Okay, and uh, <laughs> when you make fries out of them, they actually smell like the French. Okay, so thank you. Oh. 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>